Hi everyone and welcome back to Rita Soul Food. Today we're making red pesto tagliatelle. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what other recipes you'd like me to cook. So let's get started. All you'll need is some tagliatelle and I've just put this on the boil so while this is boiling away we can heat up and prepare our pesto sauce. The pesto that I'm using here is red pesto bought from the store and you can get red sun-dried tomato pesto or red pepper pesto. Here I've used red pepper pesto. The asafoetida powder here is completely optional. All in all, I've added about one and a half to two tablespoons of pesto. Just adding a bit of water here to loosen it up a bit. Seasoning with pepper and salt. So let this cook for about 10 minutes, 5-10 minutes as per the instructions. Now I'm going in with two tablespoons worth of single cream. Again, you don't have to add this, it's completely optional, but I just wanna make it a little bit more creamy and add to the color there as well. some of the pasta water just to help emulsify it and bring it all together. So let this cook down for a few minutes and we're ready to go in and add our tagliatelle which I'll just be adding bit by bit and then stirring it around. So it's not over yet, no, um, keep watching till the end. I've added some vegan cheese, which I'll be showing you, and it's the first time that I've used vegan cheese on tagliatelle, so it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Keep watching. So I've got um, vegan cheese that is um, in slices bought from the store and I've just put in a square of it and just ripping it up putting it in the pan um, and I'll just be adding the lid on intermittently because what I found is it doesn't melt as quickly as regular cheese or dairy cheese um, so yeah I'll just be adding the lid intermittently and helping it to melt down and then once it looks ready then we're good to go and tuck in So you can see here the cheese is nicely laced along the tagliatelle and I think we're ready to plate up now. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out the other recipes on Rita Soul Food and subscribe, share with your friends and family and let me know in the comments below what you thought of this recipe.